And good evening. One of the great things about sports and history is the stories that intertwine. And tonight we have one worth telling of a former West Virginia University All-American, a watch collector from New York, and a bit of good fortune. Time sure has a weird way of creeping up on us. Bill Underdunk was an All-American football player at West Virginia University in the 1950s. Played alongside NFL greats Sam Huff and Fred Wyant. He was a stalwart on the offensive and defensive lines when the Mountaineers played Georgia Tech in the 1954 Sugar Bowl. They gave away bowl gifts even back then, and the commemorative bowl watches the players received were even featured in the game program. That watch, though, had been missing since the late 1960s until Underdonk's daughter returned a phone call from a man she didn't know. Gary from New York is what I can say, and the watch collector. Gary from New York had looked a little closer at the watch and noticed a name. He said he thought he had something that belonged to my father. He didn't know it was my dad at that point. And I said, you have my dad's watch, don't you? And I just knew he had it. You know, he, had, he was a watch collector, and he said he recently purchased it for $15 up in New York. And I said, well, we lived in Buffalo, and in 1968, 69, sometime our house got robbed. And they took a bunch of family heirlooms, you know, and one of those was my dad's WVU Sugar Bowl watch. All these years later at the Sugar Bowl reunions, Bill Underdunk had those timeless memories of the game, but not the timepiece that matched. And through a career that led him to being drafted by Paul Brown and the Cleveland Browns, it was like a homecoming of sorts when Jill got to give that watch to his beloved wife, Dolores. Oh, yes, everybody started crying. Like, you know, she didn't know that I had even gotten it. I told her that my husband had got me a new watch. And so I put, had her, put her arm out, and then she put it on, and she went, oh, and then she started crying and everything, and then everybody started coming over there to look at it. So it was really nice. You know how they put those luggage tags on? I wish I would have had a luggage tag that was inside that watch and seen where that journey went. You measure memories by years, not seconds, but not in this case. For the Underdog family, those moments in time, back where they belong. All right, thanks to the Underdog family for sharing that story. Bill passed away a couple of years ago, but what a life well lived. And as fate would have it, Marshall's women's softball team playing today, and Underdog's granddaughter, Cameron Mahalis, plays for the herd. Wow.